Welcome back to my channel, it's Paige. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did my first straight sewing on my natural hair, guys. So as you can see, I'm just parting out my leave out. I wanted a pretty deep middle part, but if you want a shorter part or a side part, then you could part it however you want. And I also left hair out on the sides just to give it more of a natural look. So now I'm just going to go and... Uh, uh, braid the rest of my hair and then once I finish braiding my hair guys I sew up those two braids that are hanging down just so you know they won't show underneath my sewing and these are the bundles I'm using I'll have the link to them in the description box but I use three bundles so I went ahead and put the first bundle in. I double wefted this one. I doubled them up just so um, my sewing could be very full. And this is the second bundle. I doubled this one up also, but I'm not gonna double up the last one that I'm gonna put on top just because I don't want it to be too bulky. But yeah, I like my sewing's full guys. So I pretty much used like all three bundles. I had like a little bit of hair left over. And I'm not using any special sewing technique to do this. I kind of just push the needle through and then um, on some of them, I loop the string around the needle three times before I pull it just so um, it could be tied and so the sewing could be tighter, but I don't use like any special sewing technique. For most of it, I kind of just push the needle through and then pull it and then just keep going. Um, but on some parts, I do loop it through, loop it over it three times. The worst part of doing a sewing, guys, is when the needle gets stuck, like when the thread gets stuck, it's so frustrating. So I just had to cut it and then just start all over again with a fresh piece of string, but that's the most frustrating part, y'all. And again, I'm folding it over. I'm not cutting the weft um, every time I sew it to the other side of my head. I kind of just fold it over and then I try to make it as flat as possible and then just sew it as close to the other uh, like weft that I put on that. It's, it's weird to explain, but I just make it as flat and tight as possible and just sew it as close to the edge as I can just to, you know, make it flat and not bulky, you know? So this is the top. Uh, like I said, I'm just doing a single weft on top. I'm not doubling it up or anything because I don't want it to be too bulky. And I'm just going to go around a few times. And when, you, when you're at the top, you want to make sure that you close it up nicely. So you want to make your weft as close to your leave out as possible while also covering the braids. You don't want the cornrows that is attached to showing and you also don't want a big gap in between the weft and your leave out because then that's going to create kind of like some dips and like some gaps like when you do your um when you fly your leave out if you understand what i'm saying Okay, so now I'm just gonna go through and flat iron the weave a little bit. I kind of wanted to see how it flat irons, which it flat irons very well, y'all. Like it got so straight, but it didn't get stiff when I straightened it. It still looked really soft. And of course I'm using bio silk. 
just to give it more shine and ease when I flat iron it, y'all. It, it looks so good. This hair is so soft. And the inches that I'm using um, are 20. I use, uh, I think I use two bundles of 18 and one bundle of 20 inch. I use the 20 inch on the bottom and then two bundles of 18 inch at the top. But next time I do this style, I'll probably do a longer uh, length, like 22 inches or 24. This length is fine. Like this length is perfect, but I would just want it a little bit longer. You know, I want to start experimenting more with hair, guys. I want to start doing like more like wigs and stuff. Just, you know, different colors, different styles. And then now I'm gonna do my leave out at the side. Ooh, y'all, this is my favorite part is doing the leave out like, oh my God. When y'all see how this blends, oh my gosh, it just looks so good, just so good. So I'm taking more bio silk and putting it on my natural hair before I start. And I also have a heat protector on my hair too, guys. I put heat protector uh, before I blow dry my hair. And then now, um, you know, I added the bio silk before I flat ironed it. And you can also use a comb to chase it, which will make it um, just more smoother. Like uh, it, it helps the ends not get uh, kind of tangled because, you know, sometimes you fly on your hair and like on the end, it just looks kind of trashy. Um, so this just kind of helps your, your strands uh, stay straight so that the fly iron will have a smoother pass over all of it. And just look how natural that looks, guys. Oh my God, that looks so good. So just doing the same thing on the other side. Yes, and that just blends so perfectly. Oh my God. So now for the grand finale, guys, my middle part, yes. I'm just so proud of myself. Like, like watching this, I'm just so proud of myself.
And of course, I'm putting more bio soap before I flat iron. And I'm just going to use the same method. For this one, I didn't use the comb because it was kind of hard. So I kind of just, um, you know, like finger detangled it like as I went down so it could uh, remain straight as you see. And for this one, I did use the comb chasing method. And it was just so perfect, y'all, just so perfect. So this is how it looks, freshly flat ironed. And now I'm just gonna kind of go through and touch my hair up, uh, touch up the leave out a little bit, and then also, um, you know, touch up the actual weave itself and just make sure everything blends, everything is straight and nice. And now I'm just using a little bit of edge control just to kind of smooth my edges a little bit. Um, I wish uh, I didn't use the edge control because now my edges are kind of hard. So like I don't even want to run over it again with the flat iron. But I just wish there was like something I could have used. Y'all let me know what's something good that I can use on my edges that are like going to make them smooth but like not like cakey after a while you know but this is the finished look guys um i went and got dressed after this to go out um i wish i would have showed you guys but anyways thank you so much for clicking on this video and i will see you in the next one